This is my first time working with acrylic. I think it's also known as plexiglass. So I made a cut with this blade at speed number six on here, which is top speed. And it filled in behind the blade. So I thought, well, that's not a big deal. I can just crack it off. So I tried and the piece cracked here instead of along the line that I had cut. So then I tried a finer tooth blade. This is the difference between the blades. And the internet said that that one would work, but that didn't turn out to be true. Here's the cut I got with that. It's still filling in behind. And then I switched to this blade, which is probably the same as this one, but I figured I would just try something skinnier and I turned it on speed number one and so I very slowly go along and that ends up bringing the plastic out in little bits instead of filling it in as a melted plastic and here's how slow it goes another part of the learning curve I wasn't leaning on this much at all and it cracked right there ruined this whole piece should be able to use this for another window, so not a problem. But here's a comparison. This is Lexan. Maybe this is not the material that they advertise it as. It's supposed to be used for bulletproof glass. Got all the acrylic cut for the windows for the pilot house. Both sides, front and back. At first, as I was working with the material, it would crack extremely easily, but maybe I just had a bad portion of that particular piece, that four by eight foot, because it's a little stronger now on this end. So that's pretty strong. Maybe I just got unlucky with a particular part of the batch. Let's see how strong this is. All right, so maybe I just got unlucky and there was a weak spot right there. I don't know, it's actually pretty strong stuff. For the windows in the front and the back, I've made a channel for the acrylic to fit inside of. And then here, I'll put a piece that I bolt on, which puts pressure on here and makes a seal. That way, if I ever have any problems with it, if it cracks or whatever, I can easily slide it out and put a new piece in. I'll have some acrylic with me on the boat at all times. My plan for all of the windows inside the pilot house is to fit some acrylic in and then put some wood over that and then make a metal piece that goes over the top and gets bolted on. I might also put some metal to line the inside of this, which will also put a little bit of pressure on the window. I haven't decided on that yet. And that's what I've got so far. I've read that plexiglass does not like to have holes drilled in it. It will develop cracks easily wherever the holes are. So my plan is to just press up against it with some kind of sealer. So it's pressing up against about a half inch worth of steel. So that should provide enough to keep it from popping out even if it flexes a little bit. I don't think it'll move that much. I chose plywood for this job instead of using these oak pieces that I've got. I don't have to do any joining joinery work. I don't have good tools for that. These are burn marks burnt right through the paint from the other side of welding these tabs on. So now, got to sand them, clean it, primered, coat number one on all of the spots that I burnt by welding. This isn't the final coat, I'll have three coats on there. And I'm not worried about how it looks right now because I'm going to sand the paint and then recoat it all with one continuous coat, I hope. 
And also this isn't the final color either. I think it will be gray on top and black on the bottom. So that's it for the boat work for the month of September and a little bit of October. See you next month. Have a great day.